Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. We are still in the man panel van. That's a good one, the man panel van. Um, we're going to do a few more jobs today. In between, I have done a fair few jobs already, so we've got a little bit of finances in the bank. But I did say we'd do sort of two episodes, four jobs at least, with uh, each of the vehicles, so we're going to keep going with that. I can remember how to get back in the van. Start her up. So we need to find somewhere actually where we can go pick up a job because where I am we haven't got much. So I think I think we're, we're always in this same little area, aren't we? Up here. I think this is where we took caravans and where we did stuff. We need to need to try and get back across the map. Been, I think we spent quite a few episodes down over here. And now I think we spent a long time up over here. Or we, we do a long job from here and then a long job back here. But we want to try it. It'd be nice if we could, I don't know, maybe spend a bit of time down there. Anywho, that's neither here nor there. Let's, uh, let's put ourselves a little spot there. Fast travel. Didn't even know we could do that. We'll head down. Let's get out of here. Last job I did was um, delivering a, a skid steer. I did, two days ago, um, I did attempt to record an episode. And I did this full you know, 35, 40 minutes. I said goodbye at the end. And turns out I didn't actually press start recording. So that's a lost episode. So that's why we're going again. And I've left it a few days. So that just for myself, I don't feel like I'm constantly chatting and repeating myself. Because as I've mentioned, I hate having to do that. And I would probably have forgotten all the things that I spoke about. So when I speak about them again today, it will feel fresh. It's been, other than that, that lost episode, the lost recording, other than that, it's been, or it had been about a week until I had last recorded. Uh, we were quite a way ahead on the schedule. We're still a week ahead on the schedule. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure how many more we'll go. Uh, we have, you know, the larger trucks that I want to get and have a look at and do some jobs with them because they've got some some different loads. We've, yeah, there's the the one that looks a little bit like, I've said this before, the one that looks a little bit like Mercedes, this one that looks like a Renault, and then we've got the larger ones that are the Scania and the Man. So we'll, we'll get those. We have a um, regular car. Where we get a car and just do a couple of little jobbies with that. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how, how people feel about the series. Whether they want to see some more, whether we do some mixed jobs or anything in particular we want to try and do. But I will be, even once this series comes to an end, I will still be playing this because it's just a chilled one that you can just stick on. And um, just get a few jobs done. It's nice and relaxed in the evening. Myself, I often just stick something on the other screen. Right, so let's look at what we got. This is... That's loading up. So that's a forklift delivery. And then that's pallets on the back. So shall we go with... That's only a short one around the corner. That one's a little bit... For, oh, that's taking us somewhere else as well. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's like six grand. As you can see, we're up to 113 grand. We can buy any vehicle we like. We're going to go with this one. And with this one, we have to pop the, the two pallets in the back of the van. Then the, the little trailer will open up. We can pop two in the back of that. I, uh, should I get that right? Ooh. Let's take this one first. So I hope you're well. Thank you very much for coming back and joining me on this one. I know we've gained uh, uh, or garnered a few eyes on it. It's not something that I thought would be popular on the channel. So if any uh, those that do enjoy it and that do keep coming back, I do appreciate it. I, I know I, I can't lie. I was hoping the series would be doing a little bit better than it is, but I have that same old problem that I have with everything that. 99.9% .9 of my audience are only here for farm sim so if I put content out to uh, subscribers like this has gone to uh, most of them won't watch it 
Well, if I do, or when I do another series that's not farm sim or not trucking, I'm not going to put it to subscribers. It'll go in the Discord, so if you're not in the Discord and you enjoy watching a little bit of the random stuff as well, come join the Discord because the notifications will go there. But YouTube probably won't put out a notification because I'll not set it to notify or go to the subscription uh, the subscribers because then YouTube will find that particular series a new audience hopefully and then those that are interested can still get to it. It'll be on the homepage. It'll be everywhere. I'll probably put it put it to the community feed as well. So we can get in here, shall we? That'd be nice. I'm not sure if I'm hitting the van or I'm just not. High enough? What's going on? There we go. So yeah, if you are coming in, and you are turning up, you know, a couple of times a week to watch me uh, drive my vans and do my forklift in, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you do like a little simulator and you do like something that's a little bit chilled, I highly recommend this one. I really do. I think it is. It's a good blast. It's, it's not taxing, you know. It's not too deep. If you want really deep gameplay, I'm not quite sure what to recommend in this front because even something, you know, as good as ATS and ETS, the gameplay itself isn't that deep. You drive, you burn money, you buy new vehicles. And that's pretty much this without the fleet mechanic. What would be nice to see come to this, whether it ever would, I don't know, is a little bit of multi drop. Talks about this with um, Baz Rusty in the Discord. Like, that would be pretty cool, having a multi-drop feature. It's one of those things that confuses me with um, anything that comes out of Aerosoft, is they, they work with a lot of publishers, or they work with a lot of developers as a publishing house, and publishing very similar sort of games. But very rarely do you see similar features, same features, or even <laughs> same quality come from game to game. Like, there's uh, recently come out and I, I'm not sure who the developers are, but it's published by Airsoft. And it's some. Um, it's just called Forklift Simulator. Now, with how good and how fun the forklift is in this game, for them to be working with another developer on a forklift game, and that forklift game is getting absolutely trashed for how it plays, how it feels. Like, why do they not get different publishers to communicate and work together maybe or something to put out a better product that would do better for all parties like that's that's something that I don't get that's, that confuses me so much with everything that comes out of Aerosoft, it really does their own game had the molly drop mechanic in, um, on the road truck simulator the game itself was awful but the multi drop is the best thing about that game I did try and boot it up for a few, well, I say a few weeks about a month ago to try and you know give it another chance on the console, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. It was just, it just felt so. It's just awful. It's such an awful game. But I just wanted to give the multi drop a try, and I just couldn't even bring myself to do one delivery just because of the mechanics and how it plays. It's just such a shame. Such a waste. Such a waste of people's money and time. But yeah, but for for this publishing house to publish game all about forklifts and loading up trucks which I said was, would be awesome I thought, when I saw that I thought oh mate this is right up my street went to the uh, the reviews and it is slammed for controls like keyboard controls controller controls there's no wheel and side panel controls there's no um, joystick support there's no support for anything it's just awful and what the, what the people that are and can play it and have given it time just I have nothing good to say about it. Shocking. Shocking. I mean, it's not an expensive game. It's an indie game. You know, it's like £16.99 in pounds sterling. So it's like 18 dollars Maybe like €22, Euro, something like that. It's, they're not expensive. But they should still work as the function of what the game is supposed to be. Like, how, how do they even reach release? Who tests them? I'd like Aerosoft to get in touch with me and offer me a 
QA position and I will test their games and I will tell them everything that is absolutely crap with it before they go out. None of this... They've obviously got yes men and people, oh yeah, this will do or that will do. That's the thing, that will do. Like, no, it won't do. You, you're asking for people to spend their hard-earned cash. I will test for you. I will endure the absolute dyers that are your games just to offer a better experience to others. I'll happily sign the NDAs and all that crap. Let's make it better. Because the simulators, they were, you know, they're not even that, it's not even that niche anymore. Like, it's, it's not like a, a weird, quirky thing that people secretly play. Like, simulators are some of the most popular games now, especially on PC, since branched into consoles, and they are more and more popular on console. Hence why we get games like this, which, you know, is on PC, but it's, it's console orientated, it's smaller scale. You know, it's not too resource draining. But this game is fun to play. Why are all the others so bad? You know, at least um, Alaskan Road Truckers took an extra year or two to make sure that the game was going to be feasible for console. They took some extra time. The game released, it wasn't as good as it should have been. They took spent a lot of time trying to improve it. From their initial demos that they put out, they got some horrific um, reviews and feedback. And they went off and they sorted it out. And that game's, you know, pretty fun, pretty decent. And again, it's on that scale of, well, it's sort of... It's on PC, it's got some mechanics that add a little depth to it, which is really cool. I, I wish I had the time to get more Alaskan Road Truckers on. Um, perhaps we will. And, uh, yeah, the survival mechanic and stuff like that just adds something else extra to it. And once they got the steering down, once they made other things that were more about the simulator... Not in line with the actual promise of the game. It's so much better. And then it went to console. Because, you know, it's like I say, it's sort of more designed that way. But up until that, I'd say the best trucking delivery game is um, Truck Driver. And that is so old. And that's by, I want to say, Sodeco. And they're not always that great at offering and, and, and supporting afterwards as well. There's, there's a theme within the small indie simulator genre. Like these publishers put out so many games without supporting them. And I've ranted about it so many times with the likes of Dovetail, who do the fishing games that I always hoped would be so good and so promising. And then they just churn out another game before actually fixing anything that was wrong in the last one. And then leave that one broken and then churn out another game. And then after that one, they went back to an older title and put more content out on it without fixing anything else again. Like, And they do the same with the, with the train game. Train, I think Train Sim 4, Train Sim 5 is coming out now. The first one still broke. Just, who's still buying these games knowing that they're going to come out broke you know some people maybe disagree with the SES approach and you know the way that they support ATS and ETS but I think it's absolutely amazing the longevity of those games come from the support that the developers are giving it you know, the constant, the constant updates and upgrades, the expansions, you know, it doesn't cost the earth, and they'll, they'll add in a massive amount to the game, and it doesn't cost the earth, like eight ninety nine for an expansion of the map, there are mod support for it, like, mods that add so much more to the game. ETS, ETS 2 has been going since 2012, and it is still the best European truck game. I would say ATS is a better trucking game, only because visually I feel it looks a bit better. Because it's, you know, was it like nearly five years newer? Something like that? I think it came out in 2017? 
uh, but they both pretty much run the same now. it's just that parts of ETS 2 are looking a bit aged in comparison but those games just nothing comes close and it's not like others haven't got the opportunity or the chance to try we see all the trucking games come out and we see them all just fail time and time again And as you know, simulator gamers, we're always looking for that next thing. We're always looking for that next best thing, like in any game market. But you know, we want games that can offer a little bit more depth, maybe a little bit more realism. Um, you know, that career aspect, that growth potential. This is nice that you just drop drop on and do your deliveries and get your thing done. But a deeper career would be great. Building up a, a real company, have something to show for it. Some simple um, branding, employees, something to actually manage. Even if it was just like a, a base garage, and like a because we're doing logistics, so we could have contracts where things are coming to our own logistics hub, and we're having to, you know, do stuff in that sense. Let's be trailer. There you go. Got a long, long old reverse on this. I mean, recently, and hopefully, uh, hopefully before this comes out, we'll have had some more. Um, Star Trucker. Star Trucker was so hard, right? I was expecting Star Trucker to, to be really simple, really, because I was expecting something in the vein of a lot of these trucking simulators. There is so much depth and complication and extra in Star Trucker that it shocked me how much there was in that game. We had a great little stream on it. I found it so hard. It was such a shock to the system. So we are at uh, nearly seven grand on that one. 120,000. We can buy whatever we like. So, new job location. We don't... Mm, no, I don't want to pull anything out of here. Because it will just be rubble or... Rubble or lower. So, let's see. What's, should we go there? There should we go? Let's go there. Let's see what they've got. Let's see what they've got for us. Keeping our eyes peeled for golden crates. I haven't seen one in a bit. I think when I was doing my jobs off screen, I think I drove past two more, but I forget where they are. Oh, how are we for fuel? Where's my fuel? Fuel's on the right. Fuel is good. Yeah, so a bit of ranty episode today. It gets a ranty episode. But sometimes I just got to get it off your chest. You got to say, say how you feel about this stuff and speak up about it. You, should, you never know. You never know. Someone from these developers, someone from these publishers might watch your content. They all get tagged with their names in. You know, you tag with Aerosoft in, you tag with Simi Games in, you, you tag SCS, you tag Giants in your videos. Someone somewhere might just think, all right, let's see what they us see. Let's see. I know a little old channel like me garners very little attention, but you hope, don't you? Speaking of which, FS25 fastly approaching, two months away. Has had, um, you yeah, know, a mixed bag of uh, responses in what it's offering at the minute. I think what we've seen so far is looking good. We just need to see more of it. Personally, anyway. That's what I think. So, shall we do... We'll do a, a vehicular one. And that'll take us down there. I said a sort of round here where we want to go. So, yeah, we'll take that. That'll be another six, six and a half grand. A uh, quick coffee before we get it going. And we'll take the... Uh, the forklift down to where they want it. It'll load up. Giving it the old let's get it on. Ooh, let's bring our bring our forks up. Let's make sure you get it on there. Pick up the trailer. 
I also think unloading some of the stuff at the other end maybe would be pretty cool. At that, just extra, just because I really enjoy the loading, like do some unloading as well. That'd be nice. I don't know. You keep turning my lights off. You don't really need a van for this one, do you? You know, I guess my biggest gripe for the game, because I always keep saying how fun it is, my biggest gripe is load variation. Whether that's something that they'll add in, I don't know. But I think it would be nice to see, uh, even if it is, you know, because it's still pallets, but different things on the pallets. Something else there that would be nice. Changing up on me all the time. I think we'll just go around here. We'll go straight over and then turn left on the main on the main road, rather than just keep weaving through everything. I don't think that's necessary. But yeah, go back to FS25 and FS in general. Um, absolutely loving, absolutely loving Terra Life Plus and, and what that's brought to the game. Yeah, you know, it's such a shame that that has come so late in FS22 cycle. But they do intend on bringing Terra Life to FS25 when they can. Um, it'll probably be a, an even deeper experience, which I think is cool. And um, for anyone watching this who are, the, are, on the, are on the farming thing as well, um, I would recommend if you're on PC, giving Terra Life a try. It's it's not all essential. Like it's still a lot of choice. Once you've installed the mod, you still don't have to do all the um, all the difficult things like there's there's levels to it and being a script if you're comfortable going in there you can change and adjust it you can make it as easy or as difficult as you like for your experience which is one of the one of the big pluses that I'm finding in more so with 22 than I did with 19 I only fiddle with scripts a little bit but I've become more comfortable in trying things with scripts and fiddling with scripts and adjusting things to suit my needs and my likes that is something that's really good with FS. I will give it that. The ability to to mod and adjust to your own personal preference. Even once you've got someone else's mod, you can go into it and adjust it to your likes, wants, wishes, and needs. That's good. And Terra Life, much like Maze Plus, offers that with great depth. Great depth. Is it the perfect mod? No. Are any of them? No. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. Uh, I, it's got me back. Just sharing screenshots again. I hadn't shared screenshots on Discord or on Facebook or anywhere for so long because everything's always felt the same. That has brought new levels to the game for me. Really, really enjoy it. Hopefully we get a chance to stream more of it as well. The uh, our, our eldest son has now started school properly now, so he goes five days a week. And most weeks now, um, my partner is going to have two days, or at least two days, two to three days, two, all days as well, at home. So she will have our youngest most of that time, not every time, but most of that time. And that will allow me some time to get some extra recordings in, which I'm doing now. This is a rarity. I am actually recording this quarter past nine in the morning. I'm usually recording about quarter past nine at night. Can you tell that I'm more awake? Can you tell I'm more with it? More talkative, more energized? It's, it's crazy. Still going to get caught speed. Or not. It's not the, not the quickest van, and we pull on a load, we probably we shouldn't be at full speed. It's almost my foot in too heavy. This is probably like 130, so if we're down 90, we've probably gone too slow. Uh, I have increased traffic. Whether we can tell that or not, I don't know. It was set on 12, but I'm running at 14 now. Oh, so it did get caught. 88 in and 80. I wasn't quite slowing down enough. I had my foot on the brake, but I wasn't slowing down enough. So 
So what was that? 100? 100 credit to fine. So I'm not sure I'm not supposed to be coming off anywhere. Stick ourselves in the middle of the road, I think. I think the skybox is quite nice. Quite, although I haven't done a massive amount of night driving, certainly not while recording, the skybox is quite nice. And that, I like that moon. The moon is pretty good. I shall not grumble at the moon. I might growl at it and howl at it, but I won't grumble at it. I don't know why I always look down to the left for the sat nav, because I've got one on the right. But we always look like we're. <laughs> our little triangle is sort of sometimes a little bit off the line. I know we're on the right hand side, but I think we should still be on the line. Just saying, just move me over a couple of mil. Straight on, straight on. Just in case, we just tap the brake. Because that was a speeding van. Oh, come on. Bro. <laughs> 25. 25 to come off on a road that's 130. That's why accidents happen, that is. It's not my fault. There you go, there's another speed camera there trying to catch you out. Gods are with us today. I'm rolling that one though. Then right. Open up for us. in there. Let's see if I can get that in. Oh, fizz fiddling about with the indicator, is not it? Sort of right about. Girl, not bad. That's in. So it's another six and a half grand. We're up to 226,000 creditos. And that is going to be it for another one. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. Sorry about the ranting that comes out sometimes, but I get frustrated by these things. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it, though. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Next time, we should be upgrading. Upgrading? Not actually upgrade, but we're getting a new van. So uh, join us for that. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.